Hi everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. No matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So before we get into some Major League Baseball action for June the 13th, I want to invite you to join and you will have access to the VIP Club section here, which has all the tools that you will need. So there's a full slate of games here, as we are more than a third of the way through the Major League Baseball season, and the division races are certainly heating up. So let's take a look at some of the action for Sunday, June the 13th. Scroll down here, the Yankees and the Phillies. Now we're not going to look at every game, we're going to take a look at five of them. The first one here, we got the, the uh, San Francisco Giants and the Washington Nationals. The Giants take the National League West leading record into Washington to face the fourth place Nationals. If you look at the power ranking indicator, the Giants have a considerable plus 21 to plus 3 edge in that category. And an average versus ice cold up status. You see uh, Alex Wood is scheduled to pitch for the Giants and he will face Lester for the Nationals. Wood is 5-3 and three with a 3.79 ERA. And Lester is 0-2 with a 4.19 ERA. If you take a look at the pitcher profit oscillator and see how good of a bet these two pitchers have been. You see that Wood has been a poor bet at minus or minus $2,151. And Lester has also been in the negative at 120, minus $124. If you look at the two teams as of late, you can see that the Giants have lost two of their last three, and they are four and two over their last six. The Nationals won their last game, but they are only two and four over their last six games. If you want to bet the over and under, you can see here that the Giants are playing in games trending over the line. Nationals playing in games trending other than the line, so it's best to avoid the over-under in that kind of scenario. Uh, if you look at the scores prediction at the top here, it's a 10-3 to margin for the Giants, but the compensate prediction is only about 46%, so a little bit less than the toss of a coin. And I'm going to agree with that prediction in a sense that I think the Giants will win, but I don't think it will be nearly as large of a margin, so take the Giants to win and cover. The Braves and the Marlins. Orioles in Tampa Bay, the White Sox and the Tigers. Here's an interesting matchup in the American League Central. The Central leading White Sox head to Detroit to face the last place Tigers. You see that the White Sox are average status at the moment. They have lost their last game and are 4-2 and two over their last six. The Tigers are ice cold down. You can see that they have struggled, even though they have won, uh, let's see, there we go, that they won two games out of their last four, but they are only 2-4 and four out of over their last six. The pitching matchup shows Carlos Rodon for the White Sox. The Tigers have not yet mentioned their starter. They have not named the starter as of yet. You see Rodon is 5-2 and two of the 1.96 earned run average. If you look at the pitcher profit officer, you can see what kind of bet he's been and he has been a very very solid bet here at plus $1,325 so take that into consideration. If you're looking at the totals predictor, if you want to consider the over and under for this game, you see that the White Sox are playing in games trending under the line. The Tigers are playing in games trending under the line as well. So that's a very good indication to bet the under. As far as the scores prediction, you see here that the prediction here is for the White Sox to win by an 8-0 margin. But the confidence in prediction is only 31.2%, so take that into consideration. I do believe that the White Sox have a huge advantage. I do believe that they will win the game. I don't think it will be by eight runs, but I will pick the White Sox to win and cover. Rockies and the Reds, Padres and the Mets. Now here's another game we want to look at, the Mariners and the Cleveland Indians. The Mariners come in average status and the Indians are average down. On the power ranking indicator, you can see that the, both teams are at plus 19. Neither team has mentioned their starting pitcher yet. The Mariners have won three out of their last six games, and so have the Indians. So it looks like a very tight matchup. If you look at the scores prediction, though, it says a little bit different that Seattle by an 8-1 to margin. But again, the confidence in prediction is under 50%, 45.4%. If you're considering the over and under, you can see that slightly over the line for Seattle and over the line for Cleveland, so it might be a good indication to bet the over. 
but the score's prediction of an 8-1 to one score would not be an over, so take that into consideration as well. So play every factor as it is. Maybe look back in another day to see what the pitching matchups might be in for the odds have, as the odds have not yet been posted. But given the information that we have right now, I can see the Mariners pulling an upset on the road, but not by the margin that is shown in the score's predictor. Blue Jays and Red Sox. We're not going to look at that game. This should be another good game here. The Astros and the Minnesota Twins. The Astros are burning hot at the moment. You can see they have won their last three and four out of their last six. The Twins are ice cold down. Losers have four out of their last six. The Astros are in second place in the American League West. And the Twins are in last place in the American League Central. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see that Houston is at plus 28 on their way up. Minnesota was at 16. They have dropped considerably just in the last couple of days down to plus 5. If you're considering the over and under bet on this one, you can see here Houston is playing in games trending under the line. Minnesota is playing in games trending slightly over the line. I like to avoid the over under bet in that scenario. The scores predictor might give you a little bit of a help in that way. Now here they're showing, uh, we're showing the Astros at at a nine to five margin of victory, so that's a, a total of fourteen runs, which would probably be an over. The lines have not yet been set, but take a look at that and the confidence in prediction, which is only forty seven percent. To take a look at that as the game gets closer, and to see if the pitching matchups have been named as of this time, they have not yet been named. But I do believe that the Astros have a much better team. And that will play into the factor. Even though they're playing on the road, I believe that the Astros will win and cover the spread. Pirates and the Brewers. Royals and the Athletics. You see a full slate of games. Angels and Diamondbacks. Rangers and Dodgers. Here's the last game we want to look at. It's going to be the Cardinals and the Chicago Cubs. The Cardinals head to Chicago in third place in the NL Central. And the Cubs are first in the division. You can see the status right now. The Cardinals are dead up. They have won just one out of their last five, or one out of their last six games, excuse me. The Cardinals are in trouble in the division as of now. And if you look at the Cubs, they are three and three over the last six, and they have won three out of their last four. Carlos Martinez is scheduled to pitch for the Cardinals. He is three and six with a 6.21 ERA. No pitcher has yet been named for the Cubs. If you consider the over and under in this matchup, you can see that the Cardinals are playing in games trending significantly over the line at plus four points, compared to the Cubs trending under the line again, probably best to avoid the over and under. The scores prediction has the Cubs by a six to two, or excuse me, a seven to two margin with confidence in prediction a little bit better than the toss of a coin at 52%. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that the Cardinals are down here, all the way down here at zero. They have dropped significantly. You can see just as of, what, a week ago, a little bit more than a week ago, they were at plus 19. And the Cubs, after dipping to plus 6, are back up to plus 12. So, if you consider what all the factors involved here, I think that the Cubs, playing at home, are definitely the better team right now. The Cardinals are just in a mess at the moment. The Cubs will take advantage of home field advantage, win, and cover the spread. So there you have it. Those are all the matchups we're going to take a look at for June the 13th in Major League Baseball. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.